Sheikh, my question is that, so Sheikh, I was in a relationship with a girl. <clears throat> She's from Pakistan. I'm from India. We tried to convince our parents for the marriage. Her parents agreed uh, to this, but my parents uh, resisted because of their political issues. So her parents, you know, they were ready for um, me settling in Dubai and marrying there. But my mother, after hearing this, she fainted a few times and she didn't want me to leave, uh, leave her. So at the end, the girl got married a few days back. Sheikh, I had promised her that I would marry her, but uh, since I couldn't keep the promise, Am I sinful for not keeping the promise and will Allah, you know, help me accountable on the day of judgment because of this sin or I did the right thing for being my mother? Okay, first of all, you are sinful for communicating with this woman in the first place, let alone your promises and the rest. How do you communicate with an unmahram girl like this and having premarital relationship, even if it's platonic, as they say, by phone or messages and no contact, it's still haram. So this is the main issue, that you have to repent and ask Allah for forgiveness. As for your promise, no, you're not sinful for that because such a promise is not binding. If she was proposed to by someone who's far richer and more handsome and more religious than you, she would have chosen him in a heartbeat, which she actually did. So don't engage yourself with trivial issues, which shaitan is messing up with your head, and leave the core of the issue, which is your lifestyle and how you were engaged in a haram relationship that was uh, not permissible for you in the first place. And this form of misjudgment and the way of failing to weigh the gravity of matters at hand a lot of the Muslims fall into. They tend to think of trivial things and ignore the major things, like those in Hajj season who came to Abdullah ibn Umar from Iraq, asking him about the ruling of the blood of a mosquito on the hand of a muhrim. Someone is in the state in the haram and he kills a mosquito. And Ibn Umar said to his followers, look at these people. They killed al Hussein." Ibn Ali, may Allah be pleased with him and with his father, the grandson of the Prophet والسلام, and shed his blood. And now they're asking about the blood of a mosquito for a muhrim. Or that person who came to the Shaykh asking him about the ruling on aborting his child out of wedlock. So his girlfriend is pregnant and he wants to abort the pregnancy. And the Shaykh says, Subhanallah, a haram relationship and you fall into it, and you impregnate the, the, the girlfriend, why didn't you use a condom or contraceptives? And the man says, because they told me it's haram. SubhanAllah, using condoms is haram, but falling into zina and making her pregnant is halal. So this form of imbalance in measuring issues like this, a lot of the Muslims fall into, may Allah protect us all.